Yo, what's up, people? This is Papa Bell. Welcome to the channel. <clears throat> so, what this is, is a permanent magnet motor prototype. Uh, the stator is just a section. And the sections can be, you know, placed all the way around. If <laughs> you have the magnets to do so. It's four rectangle magnets and two round magnets, ceramic. For, for both of the stator magnets. And what we're going to do is we're going to just going to give it a little push, just a little tiny nudge. Look at that. Wow. Now, since it was just a little nudge, it's just going to go really slow. But I mean, look. Now, granted, you have the ring underneath but uh, I, I think that the, the stators are actually pushing <clears throat> the disc around a little bit <clears throat> now it's not going to go forever but <laughs> I think for what I put in we're getting a lot out of it but that disc on the bottom is essential it's like it takes away like 80 to 95 percent of friction all right so i'm not sure exactly how long that went for but uh we're gonna give it a nice whip now just a little, well, a little one All right, there's about 145 <clears throat> mark. Now the, the question here is, does having the stator magnets on the outside increase motion or does it decrease motion? Of course, we're, we're only testing the angle in which they're at right now. And still one is yoked and the other is not. So I don't know. I don't know if you can call this an accurate <clears throat> assessment, but now without the stator magnets, I got it to spin for approximately nine minutes and twenty seconds. Now I'm, <clears throat> I'm thinking about having a magnet, mag, mag, magnet to magnet. So like a stator magnet on the outside for every magnet on the rotor. But they might not look like this. You no, know, I might have just one rectangle magnet. But in order to make that work, I'm probably going to have to glue it to the pole. Um, <clears throat> I don't really see any other way. The, the only thing that's keeping these ones where they're at is that their weight. Their weight is keeping it there. And probably the uh, <clears throat> angle in which... the magnets are, are pushing. So, I think we're at three minutes, pretty much, so far. I 
Wow, that was interesting. See that pole shifted. Look at it now. It's like what? Because there's no flange on it. There's nothing holding it there. It's just in the hole. I can already tell that the stator magnets. Just, I'm gonna do it anyway, just for an experiment, but get more in the way than they do aiding in a, in a coast. In a coast scenario, stator magnets are bad. I mean, unless you build them with a bunch of aluminum and magnet, I mean, if you yoke it properly, um, and just have the face of the magnet uh, power, you know, have the magnetism coming out of the face instead of out of the sides as well. Um, they they might work, but see, right now there's just too much south in there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. I believe that we've got about six minutes or so. Oh, five minutes. All right. Well, and, and they're out there pretty far, so, I mean, the, the interference is negligible, but at the same time, it's enough to make a huge difference in the amount of time this thing can spin for huge difference <laughs> yeah with with the stator magnets the the rotor spins for less amount of time so i mean unless there's some kind of mechanical mechanism that moves the stator magnets i don't i don't see i don't i don't see it helping at all but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to do it anyway. We're going to get 12, 6 or 12. Probably 12. We're going to do 12. <clears throat> or maybe even more. You know, we're going to do. We might line them up like this. Dude, that's not right. But well, side by side, pretty much. And that means they're all going to have to be glued. Here, let, let's see this with the one stator magnet. We'll just have one unit there, the yoked unit. <clears throat> Let's 
And this is uh, what makes this work is you go one hump and that'll get you like three fourths of the way around. Now you go two humps <clears throat> and anything over two humps will spin down. So you'll start spinning and then it'll spin down. So what I'm proposing is to have <clears throat> those magnets go, the rectangle ones, go all the way around, but staggered. So they're facing the rotor, but they're staggered. They're not really turned to the side like this one is. All right, we're going to... <clears throat> Hmm. We're going to take a break here. Have a good night. Peace out. Please subscribe.